Decision 2020 continues here on News 9. Our team of reporters spread all across the Ohio Valley, bringing you the latest results. Let's head to News 9's Gage Golding. He joins us live tonight in Hancock County. Gage. Good evening, Rich and Kay. Thank you. The first race we're going to talk about in Hancock County was neck and neck all evening long. This is the West Virginia House of Delegates District Number 1. Now, the, the election results were close. However, the parties were not. Both Republicans, Mark Zetezlo and Pat McGeehan, both coming out with victories. I caught up with both of the delegate elects. Take a listen. It's going to be a lot of work. Um, my campaign is based around jobs, and the jobs are based around the stuff coming out of the ground. Being a geologist, I have a good understanding of that. Defending the Constitution. I mean, this country and this state is really in, um, I think, trouble from uh, a philosophic point of view, from, from the rule of law. And we really need to get back to basics and understand that there are some first principles that can never be broken. In the race of Hancock County Commissioner Republican Erin Check won with a margin of more than 1,700 votes. She told me this evening she's just excited to get down to work. People coming out to vote, it was amazing to see so many people participating. And that's exactly what I'm excited to do, is get to work and participate, make a plan, and get us prosperous. In the race of the Hancock County prosecuting attorney, Republican Stephen Dragazich won the vote with more than 71% of Hancock County residents voting in his favor. Now, also on the ballot this year was the sheltered workshop levy. That levy overwhelmingly approved with 67% of residents in Hancock County giving the levy the green light. Live in Hancock County with your Decision 2020 coverage, I'm Gage Golding.